What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Star Wars video, an exciting one for you today as we've gotten our very first official look at Snoke's personal Star Destroyer. This comes to us as a coincidental aspect of Force Friday 2, which kicks off the release of all of the official Last Jedi merch today, including some of the new Sphero remote controllable astromech droid models of BB-8, BB-9E, and R2-D2. In the Sphero app, which you control those droids with, there's some cool information from around the Star Wars universe, including our first look at Supreme Leader Snoke's flagship, the Supremacy. The Supremacy is a one-of-a-kind, mega-class destroyer, and while it's still the wedge shape we've come to know and love from the Empire and the First Order, it is much, much wider than it is tall, kind of giving it a little bit of a B-2 bomber look. Just how big is it? Well, in the app it's listed as 60 kilometers wide at its longest point, and for us here on the Imperial System of Measurement in the Colonies, that's a mind-bending 37 miles wide. An image of the ship from behind gives us a look at the engines, glowing red-orange, kind of reminiscent of the Super Star Destroyers we've seen throughout the series, and man, there are a ton of them in line with reports that there would be several dozen, and I can count at least 22 from that picture with more potentially off-screen. That second image also has a little info blurb that confirms the rumors that the ship is essentially the roving headquarters of the First Order, part command center, part battleship, with the added capability to actually harbor and repair ships on board. That is how big it is. This definitely lives up to the rumors and whispers we've been hearing about for months, about just how massive it was, its purpose in the fleet, right down to the engines, which MakingStarWars.net calls on the money. We're also reportedly going to see the inside of the ship, which I'm also interested in, as reports have called it kind of like Snoke's treasure ship, it's kind of like a flying palace, so I think it's going to be really kind of cool to see the warship parts of this versus kind of the opulence that Snoke reportedly lives in. I just can't wait to see it in action, and I'm all but certain that we will in this movie, especially seeing how much information was dedicated in this app to describing the ship's battle capability alongside its role as essentially a massive warship. So let me know what you guys think of the supremacy in the comment section down below. Does it live up to your expectations, or were you hoping for something more? That's gonna do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.